Hey, we got our wing from Superfly. This is the all-new redesigned Superfly RC uh, Superfly. And uh, when you get your wing and you open up your box, you're going to notice that it comes in one big block. Both of your wing uh, cores and all of your elevons and everything else you're going to need, aside from the pre-shaped canopy which is in the box, are in this block of foam right here. They really have a cool cutting process that allows them to do this. Pull them out large side first and they should pretty much come out. You take them out like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set your block aside because the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to join the wings. But before we join the wings, you really want to give these a good look. And um, if you look across your wing, you're going to want to get any of the slag that's on your wing off. And you'll know what slag is if you've never built a wing before. It kind of looks, you know, it's funny, I, I tell people about this, it looks like, um, like baby boogers. But what I do is I take a little piece of scrap EPP foam and I just lay the wing flat. I bend the piece of foam like this. I actually pulled this piece of foam out of the, uh, the wing core beds. And you just rub it across your wing surface. And you'll see, you'll see the uh, little slag will start to pop right off. It actually goes kind of easy. Don't push down too hard. You want to put push down with, I'd say, medium pressure. And just slide it back and forth. And you'll start to see your little slag uh, coming right off the wing. So now that the wings are here, they're prepped. The next step is to join them. Before you do that, though, make sure you don't have any excess slag on, um, on your, center, uh, your center lines here going down the wing. And the thing I really love about this wing, I mean, it is truly one of the easiest things in the world to build. You, you don't have to be an expert builder to build something like this because it goes together with hot glue. And I was skeptical like everybody else when I first saw it. And I said, hot glue? you you got to be kidding me. How, how's this thing going to stay together with hot glue? I built a couple of their other wings, uh, the EDF mites, and I'll tell you, it's amazing what hot glue will do to one of these, but they just, they hold together and there's never a problem. I've never had one flap on me or do anything weird. Um, even your Elevon hinges are going to be hot glue. Everything is put together with hot glue. Another thing you'll notice is that the manual is just completely full of pictures on how to do everything. Um, they really haven't left anything out, which I like. So now that my wing cores are clean and free of slag, all that's left to do is to heat up your hot glue gun and uh, start putting it together. Your flat part of your wing is going to be your bottom. Make sure that that's on the bottom. And you can pretty much tell when you set it down which side should be up. Your upside should have a little bit of a hump on it. Now when you glue your wing cores together, um, you, know, you, you don't want to go too heavy on your glue because again that's going to be added weight. Um, but what you would want to do, I, at least what I do, is I go in a zigzag motion when I'm applying my hot glue before joining them. Okay. Hopefully you can kind of see this. It's a little bit difficult. I don't have a cameraman. Is I'm just going to take it and I'm going to start zigzagging it all the way down. Do it kind of quick. Don't rush, but don't do it too quickly. Now, joining these is actually really simple. Drop, line them up, and squeeze. You want to put some downward pressure on the outside of the wings and kind of push together, almost like you're doing a, a push-up, gently, lightly, and lovingly. Give it a little twist. There, it pops right off. You can see the parts on the bottom where the glue kind of poked through and uh, adhesed to the table a little bit. But that's it. Hot glue and your wing is joined.